Hello, welcome to Cycling Tips. Welcome to, I don't know what stage it is, but we have got a tech gallery and a half for you. We're going to go through all the new fancy little bits, maybe a new bike or two. Let's have a look what's on the start line and what the guys are using here at the 2022 Tour de France. So what have I got for you in this tour tech roundup? We've got helmets, we've got sunglasses, we've got more helmets, we've got custom bikes, we've got prototype bikes, and we've got, well, the Canyon Ultimate. Let's kick things off with helmets though, because Bahrain, Victorious, are riding round with a new Rudy Project helmet. This one's called Yegos, it's their lightweight, ventilated model. The one that they're going to be using when the road tilts upwards or gets a bit hotter. Not loads to tell you about this helmet, but hopefully we'll get one in to test at a later date. Oh, we're at Trek. We've got another new helmet. It's not labelled up as Bond Trek, though. It is labelled up with Trek. And if you look closely on the rear, this says OCLV Carbon included. Quite fancy. There is also, obviously, a couple of other helmets from that big brand, Specialised, which we got to look at earlier on before the tour so let's have a quick delve into them enjoy your cigarette So yeah, Specialised, we've got three new helmets. There's that time trial helmet, which shall we talk about, or should we just let the memes talk about it? But the two road going helmets, the new Evade and the new Prevail, definitely look the part and you don't need a sock to put them on your heads. The Evade 3 is their road aero helmet. It's supposed to be 10% cooler than the old model, or so we're told, and just as fast. The Prevail 3, also like the Trek, uses carbon for its construction. This has got a carbon shell underneath all that EPS foam, which allows it to not just be light, but allows the vents to be huge. As well as plenty new helmets, there is a new set of sunnies being sported by the man who's defending the yellow jersey this year. We have been told these are just prototypes by the Seacon guys who are here on the ground not available for a little while yet they're still tampering with the size of the nose piece but not the size of the lens which comes in two different sizes Now, one team that does use Seacon sunglasses is Israel Premier Tech. And though they've not got loads of new stuff going on over there, they have got a very nice paint job on their Factor Ostro bikes to match the new kit that they're wearing. Now, we've got more coming from Israel Premier Tech and Factor in another video very soon where we look at Mike Wood's very light aero road bike. So light that it tips the scales at 6.8 kilos. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Over here at French Team B&B Hotels KTM, we have got a new bike on the roof of the team car. The full team aren't riding on these prototype bikes, which we are guessing are a replacement for the current KTM Revelator Altos. They're all-round lightweight road bikes, like a lot of all-round lightweight bikes at the moment. Yes, it's got drop stay, but unlike the old model, that stay is straight now rather than having a kink at the top. 
and the tubes get a little bit more aero profiling to them. Gotta say though, I'm loving that colorway, even though it's supposed to hide the curves of the new design. As well as Specialized having them new helmets out for Bora and Total Energy, a certain rider on Total Energies has a new paint job that is rolling around France on. Let's take a look at Sagan's custom bike. No, I can hear you saying, Dave, you've not included all the latest tech, and that is because there's plenty of other videos on the YouTube channel for you to check out. There's a new Scott, the new Trek, Posh Cars prototype called Nargo, all should or will be coming to the YouTube channel very soon, so go and check them out. I'll link a few below. Right, let's continue with the tech. We have got the movie star team. Who this year are using an all new Canyon Ultima. Let's have a delve in, get some spy shots and see what that new bike could be bringing us in, hopefully not the too distant future. So what do we know about the new Canyon Ultimate? Well, nothing because Canyon haven't released any information on this as of yet, but Looking at it a little bit closer, there is a few design tweaks. Up front, it gets the same handlebars as the Aero model. It's a fully integrated bar and stem with all the cables hidden away. The frame also looks like it should accept up to 32 millimeter wide tires. And just like that KTM, the tubes get a bit truncated and D-shaped, especially that seat tube and seat post. The only round tubes on the bike are actually the seat stays. If you're looking for a bit more information on this bike, jump over to the website because there's an article there. I'll link it below. There we have it, the new Ultimate. What do we reckon then, people? Good upgrade on the previous model. Are you excited for it to come out? As always, Canyon generally make a good bike at a decent price. How's the new Ultimate? Good, there we are, the new Ultimate's good. We're getting the thumbs up. <laughs> Let me know if you can give it a thumbs up. All right, give us a subscribe, give us a like, and until next time, thanks for watching and enjoy the tour.